what's going on everybody it's portal back with another cfb 25 video and in today's video i'm going to go over an insane recruit glitch that you need to be using now if you want to be able to just kill everybody in the recruiting game before we get to the video as always give this video a big thumbs up can we get a thousand likes in this video on the last time we did a video like this you guys did give it a thousand likes can we do it again we're almost at 30k subs so if you guys could so kindly go ahead and just hit that subscribe button so we can hit that milestone comment down below if you have any other variations or things to add and let me know how this is working for you and if you guys haven't already checked out underdog they're killing it as always i've told you guys so much about it so make sure you check it out it's just it's been such a blast over there i post my lines on the youtube community tab as well as on twitter each week so make sure you do check those out so you can fade me if i suck and or copy me if you think i have a chance to win and if you need any help signing up hit me up on twitter my code will be down below in the description as well as the comments so make sure you do sign up so guys before i get into how this works i've made a video on this in the past but things have changed ea changed recruiting which actually does make this method even better so if you didn't watch my other video make sure you do watch that at some point i went over all the new changes in recruiting but one of the biggest ones was how they changed like the coding algorithm of how they value a few th different things in this game and one of the biggest ones where that visit took a massive buff they are a lot better now which makes this a game changer so as you guys do know there is a way to cheese visits and i want to show you guys how effective this is if you do have the visits now buffed so i added some guys on my list remember this does work in the regular season as well it's the same concept so just follow along it's easier to show in the transfer portal for the sake of time but it works in the regular season just the same way so if you guys look over here if you look at poe you look at brown all these guys right look at where we stand Keep in mind, this is a little different when it comes to the transfer portal because it is only you get locked out pretty quickly, but same exact concept. So you want to go on and schedule your visit for week one. You can go ahead and use your deal breaker as always for the visit. So you want to go through this one's championship contender and just go through and apply a visit for week one on every single player, plus your actions, of course. You want to go on through and do all that. Keep in mind when doing this, the only time this could be a little problematic is if you're a really bad school. And you have the you have bad grades so do keep that in mind when trying to do i mean that's in general recruiting so just keep that in mind i'm gonna go through place all these visits on it seems like they're all close to the same here make sure you do put on your actions as well i have done this in the past where i've forgotten through the action so just make sure you're doing that so look at where you stand place your week one visits go through and you're free to go advance after that just like you would regularly recruiting and we'll see where we stand after this advance now with visits being buffed they've gotten just so much better as a whole like Visits are so impactful. I want to say they're one of the most important things now that you can actually do in this game when trying to do recruiting. Uh, we unlock something there. But visits, if you're not doing them, you really are missing out right now on some very, very easy recruit wins as well as some easy bonuses on the tab. It, it's really unreal. I've seen, look at this. We were behind on most of these, but that that visit, look how impactful that is. That visit's so impactful. And remember, this is just a visit against a bye week like there's it's not a real if you did a real visit right now they are so impactful even against like the even against like fcs pandas type teams make sure you're scheduling your visits so we've done this now right keep in mind we have poe brown fields and chris these are our guys now that you've done this you can go ahead and actually remove them from your board and just remember who they are i recommend taking a picture of them so you can find them again I forgot their names, but I will go find them again. So make sure you do do that and you go into here and you can usually filter at this point by interest. And it'll be the same four guys because you've already went up on them a little bit. So we add them back to the list. Now you can actually go back in and reschedule a visit right after you do scholarship. You can schedule a visit again and you can do it again. Now, remember at this point, you may have some stuff unlocked. If you do, you can go ahead and change what you actually schedule it for. Championship contenders, what this guy wants once again. But if you have another grade unlocked or you have a worse grade somewhere, you, this is a good time to now alter it. So let's say your championship contender was only like a B and then you were able to now go ahead and you notice that coach prestige was one that was important to him and there was an A for you. You can go ahead and go change that, which is very important to make sure you make that adjustment just for in terms of how impactful it will be. And you see, you want to go through now and go re-offer all of them coach prestige on this one and just keep going through. The only time this will be a problem is if they already preemptively scheduled the visit like the CPU did or an online league did, but... The good thing is that even if they did, you already got that week one in and you could still come back and do this on another week, like week three. And against the CPU, it's even easier because technically a lot of them aren't, they're not going to be beating you out on visits right at advance. It's not like an online league in that sense. But again, even in an online league, you may not lock out all four weeks. If there's only five teams and only two people want them, you technically can do weeks one, three, and four if the other person only does two. So we've now applied those. Again, make sure you do actually put back on your hours because again, I've done this before when doing this method, you run the risk of taking them off your list and then actually going through 
and messing up so like right there put the five on make sure you take that off go back to the 10 you want to put all your actions back on because even if you do this method glitch if you want to call it that like i said like i think it's a glitch because i don't think they intended for you to be allowed to do this but we go on three as you see the leads we have chris we're slightly behind they still have a lead on us that bama we're slightly behind we're, we're a bit behind there we have the lead on penn state and we have the lead on clemson at which point we can advance again and you'll see so basically what you're doing is you're taking players back off your board and re-giving them a scholarship considering we're in the off season it's not really a problem because basically you can just go ahead and use as many points as you want you're not like hoarding points like you are in the regular season but right here you can go ahead and see we have gotten another visit in and took a big like a bigger lead we got another visit in, took a huge lead we've now almost caught up with alabama because of that visit and we've taken a big lead here because we did another visit now you can go ahead and do another visit in this week with fields for instance let's take fields off the list so the other ones that you have a fair lead on you could probably just give up on those but a guy like fields that we do definitely need at least one more visit on you can go ahead and go through and again you may have more stuff for him now so if you look coach prestige a coach prestige is a minus you can see if you have anything else we do not which is odd i don't know how bama has a visit for week i don't know if anyone saw that bama has a visit for week five scheduled for fields it's very odd um so there we go we applied another one to him now now we have a week three visit to close this out hopefully again they do have a lead so it might be tough but look at that we've got a lot of ground on bama because of all these visits right here we have the lead we could just stay here at this point we have the lead i'm not too concerned about losing this one same here and same with brown at which one we can just go on through but it is pretty insane because you can do this the whole way you can do four visits and then even better if you do complimentary visits like you line them up together you get bigger bonuses if you do if you have any packages for it, you get bigger bonuses but if you look here we've committed poe that is one so essentially they were still able to win out because they are they've already they probably have very good recruiting packages for cornerbacks and they still were able to win out that still can happen like i said it's more impactful in my opinion in the regular season it's still very very great here what i mean by more impactful is that three visits here may give you a bonus of 30 percent because you're not doing it against a, a bonus type scenario in the regular season you can do it against good teams like bama with four four uh green green checks you could do it with three green do it with two you could do it even with one but you will get more bonuses in regular season because you could do it during games this is essentially four bye weeks so do keep that in mind when calculating this but we're gonna win brown we won poe and fields as a whole it, it, it's one guy but it, it's against bama bama is still going to be able to outweigh you when recruiting it was still pretty close with them we could have tried a week four or the week three like i said but it, it's just tough at that point because what it is too is like if you notice in this game this is why i always say with visits and this is just a general side comment even in the reg season when doing visits you kind of want them to you want the big lead before it's recruitment week because once it's recruitment week even if you have a final visit if you're slightly behind you're still you're still probably going to lose because i've almost i've almost gotten to the point where you can't i feel like you can't really jump people on that final week like the week before you have to jump them and once you're at commit week whoever has the lead most cases will win so that does become a little problematic but as a whole very useful definitely try it in the regular season like i said it just takes a lot more time for me to like line that up with schedules and lining up the whole thing to be for some home games or seeing what team does what but as a whole very simple method and if you want to go look at some coaching packages there are some that actually do benefit you here and make sure i'm not saying buy them but if you have them keep that in mind when doing this and who you're going to do it with if you come over here to the orange one some people will have the tier one boost to complimentary visits as well as tier two which is visits have a bigger impact if you notice you have any of these do you definitely take advantage of that so for instance in the, in the transfer portal or in the regular season make sure if you have complimentary visits for quarterbacks that you maybe schedule a quarterback and a wide receiver for that same thing the same week that you're going to do the the, the visit glitch right if you're going to do it that way you get a bigger boost and with visits being so impactful right now you're only getting a you're just getting a huge boost now because of this plus the bonus so you definitely don't want to be missing out when actually doing this make sure you do check out your packages i don't think that you should go ahead and purposely pay for it. it's an expensive package but if you have it some coaches come with it some coordinators come with it it's very useful to actually have in general and i'm saying coordinators as a whole come with certain things that you may not buy but they're not bad so just keep that in mind I, i've been talking about that a lot there's some things that i would never buy with my own points but if a coordinator has it i wouldn't be opposed to having it just across the board so definitely keep that in mind and yeah that's basically it if you have any questions about how to do this it's very very simple it's basically just as simple as removing them reapplying the visit re-putting them up tidbits do not forget to put your action points back on i've lost recruits because I've, I've done the visit method but then didn't apply the points back on make sure you hard sell them if possible as well i didn't show that here again just for the time sake of going through how the method actually works but like for this instance make sure you do actually go 
and apply a hard sell here. If you don't, it's possible you could actually lose this guy. And with fields as well, make sure you hard sell them. I probably could have early hard sold and possibly jumped them, but we're here to show you the method, right? So make sure you get your hard sells in. Don't forget to do all of the other steps while doing this, because just like anything, if you don't hard sell or you don't apply your points, none of this matters. I say this is like a guaranteed way to get a recruit and it gives you like a 30 to 40% boost, even more in the reg season. But if you don't do all the other things like not applying points or not adding them back to your thing and don't forget their names. I've done that before. I've removed them from the board and forgot who they were. As long as you don't do all those other things, this is a foolproof way to win plenty of recruits. So make sure you are doing it with the way EA has changed the game with visits. This has become even better. So I'm gonna make sure you guys are still utilizing this using the new visit algorithm whatever you guys want to call it the way it's coded now visits are better and as long as they are better definitely want to take advantage of this guys make sure you subscribe let's hit 30k comment down below if you have any questions like i said and of course check out underdog if you haven't already sign up use my code it'll be down below it helps the channel out a lot and it's a great place to play and last but not least let's get a thousand likes in this video thanks so much for watching i'm out peace